Patricon. Wesh Pabi. What's going on in the life of a cat before the mid month of August 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in this space of being honest with yourselves about what it is that you need as well as you want? Hmm. <laughs> hey boo hey if this first time to my channel I'm Mocha also if this first time to my channel look out I cuss I may cuss a little may cuss a lot just depending on what the hell the cards say oh but I'm a cuss so if cussing does not work for you right now okay please feel free to find another beautiful reading here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing cause me I'ma do that alright hey new subscribers welcome to the family y'all we are a little dysfunctional alright we don't fight and fuss though we leave that shit on other people's channel but because we grow, we love, we share, we enlighten, we evolve. Posy vibes only over here, right? Returning subscribers, what's up, gang, gang? What's up? What's popping? What's going on, Fabalia? How the hell has August been treating y'all? Did you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the support, you guys, the love, the readings, everything, you guys. Thank you so very much from the humblest space ever. Also, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. I'm getting ready to upload a sale on YouTube. For those of you who have not followed me on Instagram already, please feel free to do so at, at mocha underscore love underscore terror. All right. And so with that, I do do weeklies over there. I do element. I do them by elementals on either Sunday or Monday for the week. So you guys definitely feel free to follow me over there and get your tea spilled. All right. This is not going to resonate with everybody. You guys take what does leave the rest. Don't try to make that shoe fit if that motherfucker don't because it's too big. If it's too big, it's your ass going to fall. Okay. So take what does leave the rest. Please feel free to watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs also to find what best resonates with you. All right. So let's jump into it. Intuitive messages for well, mid month August. So, Cappies, what I got for you all is past returns, blackmail, love affairs, realizations, interference, peace, exhaustion from drama, choosing self, empath, health, trust your good. Inevitable endings, ego death, truth reveal, new love, past life, new home. Come through, Cappies. Yes. Overall energy of the reading, you guys. I got the Ace of Hearts. Okay. Also, I got to clarify that Ace of Hearts, I got the Ace of Swords. Okay. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with the sign of Cancer. Off the rip, I felt that vibe, okay? Others of you, there's a truth that's needing to be spoken when it comes to your fulfillment, what it is that you're not wanting, or what it is that you feel as if you're not getting, possibly due to a blockage of another, I'm hearing. Others of you, this has to do with you getting real with your damn self and ask yourself, self, myself, say, hmm, what the hell I want, okay? And really just connecting with the self, okay? Angel message for the month, you guys got from Archangel Michael. Remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Okay? So for some of you all, I'm definitely feeling the energy of exercising the throat chakra. Speak the fuck up, Kathy. We can't hear you in the back. Okay? We need to hear you in the back. Also, you need to know that you are divinely guided. Okay? Some of you guys are holding on to a truth, and I feel like it's really starting to mentally um, put you in this space of exhaustion. During the middle of August, some of you guys are going to be definitely speaking some type of truth. Your ancestors are standing behind you, especially if there's been some type of father figure, brother figure, male figure that was lost permanently, okay? Others of you, this has to do with your lineage, okay? You actually standing up. There's a focus on the legacy. There's a focus on fulfillment as well as tying fulfillment into prosperity. Others of you... There is a need for you all to trust yourselves and speak this knowing. You guys are going through some spiritual awakenings during this time as well. Some of you all are receiving intuitive hits, possibly in the space of your subconscious. Your dreams been lit, okay? Others of you, this has to do with um, messages and synchronicities coming from people, places, and the things around you that are continuously pushing you forward towards your path. And I feel like for some of you all during this time, it's just literally like undeniable at this point, okay? The next message you guys got is all is well. Archangel Jermiel. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. 
with hidden blessings that you will soon understand. Okay? I don't even think I showed y'all that card. All right. I think I did. All right. So for some of you all, you're really, again, you needed to go with and trust your gut. Okay? For others of you, if you're having to end situations, if you're walking away from situations, if you're being displaced from situations, it's only to give you better. Spirit, like, you praying for good, and I'm trying to get your ass better. Well, you just hold on. Wait on me. Okay? For others of you, there will be some type of crown chakra downloads during this time. Some of you guys may be, some of you guys also may be having this damn um like this like vibration um on top of the crown chakra. Some of you are needing to uh possibly especially for those of you who cover your head, some of you may need to start sleeping with the amethyst on top of your crown during this time. And others of you are needing to stop trying to control things. Because some of y'all are receiving intuitive hits about a certain circumstance or situation and you're doing everything and you're giving right to try and control it. But Spirit is saying, this is for your better, it's for your greatest good. So you're not going to be able to control this. It's a lesson in this blessing for a lot of you all, okay? So they want you to know that things are happening the way that they are. So it's supposed to be unfolding, okay? During this time. Let's get it here. Let's see where your subconscious is at. Let's get into the psyche of Capricorn. Let's see if there can be one card from mid month August for the summer. Okay, silence. Finding the silence. Going within. Listening to your inner self, baby. Going within. Meditating. Some of you all may be in this meditative space. State space. Some of you all also are going to be receiving some type of clarity. It's like you needed to go stop going from with yeah, stop going from outside of yourself to gain that clarity. Because it's coming from within you. Others of you, this has to do with you kind of being enlightened regarding some of the projections that you've allowed other people to be placed, like other people to place on you from their spaces of doubt and their space of fear. And some of you all could also be noticing this about yourself when it comes to, hmm, some of y'all scared to be by yourself and you come into the reality of that. But it's preventing that, that you need to face your fears because for some of you all, it's preventing you from actually having true love as well as you living and walking in your authenticity. Worry about what everybody else is going to say or how everybody else is going to perceive your damn happiness based on what they, based on the box that they can find you into. It's like you can choose to live in that confined box or you can jump the fuck up out of it and look at it, look on, look on the inside of that box from the outside looking in and just kind of see where you've been limiting yourself. All right. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Capricorns, Summer Rising Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers in Love? Some of you guys feel as if a situation with an Aquarius um, is not going the way that you planned it to go. For others of you, this person could want commitment, and that's just not how you're feeling towards them because you don't see commitment and fulfillment around this person. Some of you all could also be, um, some of you guys could also be uh, moving away from a marriage. During this time, or there could be talks of it, but the, some of you guys could also be finding some type of compromise around doing so, like you know, having finding some type of fair way to split fair ways around splitting assets with your um, with your ex. Okay, for some of you all, you're not sure if you want to completely invest in a situation with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or if you just want to walk the fuck away from it due to this person being emotionally burdensome. Okay, I heard burdensome. All right. Some of you guys could also be moving, but yeah, some of y'all have just fallen out of love um, in, a, in some type of partnership or commitment, okay? And for some of you all, you feel as if you're not getting what it is that you want out of love, out of a commitment, so yeah, you're moving away. You're like, I'm tired of just sitting here because of this damn paper, just, you know, in this toxic ass energy, I'm over the shit, okay? Others of you could also be, um, yeah, you don't know if you want to keep investing in somebody that's extremely toxic in your life. Some of y'all, this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys, you could be walking away from a Libra, okay, and actually choosing to invest in another situation that could involve um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could also involve another Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you guys are dealing with a situation where you've been trying to get everything that you have in you, baby, to bring harmony to a situation ship. But I feel like the other person doesn't want what you want, okay? And so you, some of y'all are going to be moving on. Some of you guys are overthinking a situation involving a cancer. We're moving forward with this person. Somebody having a hard time letting go of the past and letting go of what's, what once was. And for some of y'all, hmm, some of you guys, um, 
you move some of y'all are moving towards or you have this person moving towards you a libra a pisces a taurus an aries a gemini cancer yeah some of you guys are moving towards fulfillment something that you can actually build upon something that is solid okay i definitely feel like some of you guys could be meeting a new person during this time after completely walking away from somebody who put you in this energy in this space of doubting yourself not trusting yourself okay for someone some of y'all are dealing with somebody extremely controlling it's like you wanted to give to the relationship when it came to finances and, and the nurturing aspect and this person was a taker this person gave some good sex but i feel like you needed to make a decision on if you're going to stick in the situation if you're going to move away from it for some of you guys you're sticking into a sticking in a situation due to children okay and for some of you all this is this is having to do with what you tell yourself and like keyword what you tell yourself why you're not laying this situation to rest okay for others of you this could involve an air sign gemini libra aquarius there could be endings around that situation where there was once confusion and uh worry about a person leaving some of y'all just like fuck it but you ass want to go go do you need help hack it bye motherfucker okay some of you guys are ending the situation uh, with the fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius or there's internal conflict about ending that situation because you and this person really love each other. It's just there needs to be an ego death. Somebody needs to, instead of trying to put the same energy that they put in trying to control the situation into actually pouring in that love into a situation instead of the, the, the seeds that you guys, yeah, you guys are not agreeing on the on the controlling seed, but you're looking for the compromising seed. Others of you are tired of a damn air sign not opening up. Some of y'all could also be finding out that you're dealing with a cancer that still have an attachment to um, either a twin flame or this person has some type of hidden feelings for uh, the mother of their children. This could also be a new person in their life that could be a Taurus, um, a Leo, me, Leo. Some of y'all could be a Leo. They could be a Taurus, Libra, um, Pisces, Aries. Some of you guys are just going to go in this space of solitude. And for those of you who have this fear of being by your damn self, you're fearing that space of solitude. But that space of solitude gives you time to reflect on only what it is that you do want to manifest through those positive intentions, something very positive that's coming into your life that is actually for you. Yeah, that's going to bring you harmony. OK, but instead you want to hold on to a motherfucker who don't know what they want to do, want to be half ass inconsistent, come in and out when they feel like it. And for some of y'all, this is definitely a past person or someone who you lived a past life with. OK, this person could definitely be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone is going to be coming in with a half ass offer. And some of you have the offer to choose this half ass offer or just be a little bit more patient and wait for something more fulfilling to come in that is actually in alignment with your growth and with your actual, with your spirituality and where you're going right now okay where you trying to go some of you all some of y'all may be receiving an apology from a Scorpio some of y'all could be giving an apology to a Pisces some of y'all got an uh got a Aries Leo Sagittarius want to come back from your past they want to make an offer but I feel like this person is going to want to move slowly I feel like this person also wants to give you clarity of why things didn't work in the past, okay? And for some of you all, you're dealing with somebody who has deep feelings for you, but this person is the type of person that just fuck, fucks up their own life. You don't, don't nobody need to come and throw salt in their game. Some of y'all are dealing with a person who is just with the whole self savagery And some of y'all are dealing with an air sign who's not telling you guys they want to move forward because this person doesn't feel financially stable to do so yet. However, they could be juggling you and an uh, earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, or you and a Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or an Aquarius. They can also work with this person, or you can work with this person. This could be your ass, okay? I ain't scared of y'all ass. Some people it'd be really scared of y'all, like they want to blame the other person. And blame. When I see who it is, I'm going to point the finger where it go, okay? Y'all know we family. Now, some of y'all are being petty with an air sign. It's like, it's this, it's this war, or even this person being petty with you, because I feel like it can go two ways. And this time, this person, you, some of y'all definitely have a soulmate connection with a damn Gemini Libra Aquarius, but I feel like someone has a problem with opening up. The other one has a problem with feeling as if they need validation from this person to open up, even though they're not trusting what they feel, to feel like this person is head over heels. But some of y'all, you're feeling that a person is being petty, but they don't really know how to get the words out to you to say how they feel. But some of y'all, this person could have mother issues. Maybe the mother communicated very harshly to them. 
or was more so on the practical side and really didn't give them that nurturing. So you find yourself kind of being more of this person's like caretaker. They need that nurturing aspect from you. Some of you all are going to be confident and accept this offer from this damn Leo. And be careful. Some of y'all, somebody is trying to manipulate you. This could be a Gemini that's trying to come back. It could also be a Scorpio. Somebody is saying all the right words during this time. This person is a soulmate, but they're a manipulative one, damn it. I feel like when it comes to your confidence, some of you guys are also not walking in your truth when it comes to starting your business. And I feel like this is a, like a, this has to do with some of y'all want to be entertainers. Others of you want to actually be comedians, I'm hearing. Some of you want to be artists. Others of you, um, you actually want to start your own blogging page. But there's issues around the confidence. Some of y'all are looking in the mirror a lot like you don't like what you look like. I feel like that's all going to change, especially with this new spark that's going to be coming into your world. Some of y'all, this new spark could be coming in the form of a fire sign, a damn Leo, or a Gemini very strongly. Some of y'all, you overthinking this whole situation with this cancer. Some of y'all think this person's still dealing with somebody from their past, and this person, they cut their ass completely off. They just don't know how to come back and tell you uh, that they sorry and that your I told you so was on the money, okay? Mm -hmm. Some of you guys, are you were waiting on someone to walk away from a commitment or walk away from a situation that was toxic to them? This person could be um, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. If you feel as if you were overgiven to a situation and you separated yourself and focused on your money, now you can have this sense of anxiety because this person is wanting to come back and give you everything it was that you wanted from them. But some of y'all are coming to the realization that you're really not even with the shits, okay? Some of y'all could be finding out that, yeah, some of you all could also be cutting off a Sagittarian person. Some of y'all could be finding out that this person either was attached to you due to the fact that you are financially stable and this person is needy as hell. And some of y'all are communicating with this person. You miss your boo. You want commitment. You open to the idea of it or this person is to you. Okay. Some of y'all have been patiently waiting for a tourist to get their shit together and move away from somebody and they hoish behavior. And I do see them doing so. After being cut the hell off, don't let nobody make you a second option, Capricorn, okay? And others of you, there's a, there's a focus on keeping your options open. Some of y'all need to choose between a fire sign and another earth sign. Or maybe a younger fire sign and an older fire sign. Somebody new or somebody old. Mm-hmm. But I definitely see Capricorn accepting the offer during this time. Some of y'all may actually start casually dating, especially for those of you who've been in this space of solitude. There's a need for you to keep your options open. And some of y'all is dealing with a Scorpio where well, the sex is really good. It's not that this person is against the idea of commitment. It's just how you're going about asking them. This person got an issue with accountability. And they also got an issue with speaking up for themselves. And that came from a mother figure. Capricorn, this could be you also with the fire sign. Oh, baby, this is juicy. Overall, I see fulfillment. Some of y'all, I see you holding on to a situation and just really kind of feeling as if you're not getting what you want out of it. But at the same time, you're holding on to it for the kids or holding on to it for an image. I'm hearing for some of y'all. And others of you, you done with that shit. You're releasing it. Some of y'all, um, you're getting past this fear of being rejected by a Gemini. So you're getting past this whole internal conflict, especially when these secrets are actually, um, cause yeah, some of y'all got some secrets coming out that's going to change a whole dynamic of a relationship. Some of y'all find out folks got hidden kids and shit in the mix. This could involve a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who feels financially abandoned by you or you them. And some of y'all going to spill the beans or another person going to spill the beans, which is going to bring a death, but it's, that death is also going to bring a transformation very fucking fast in, in the in the space where you're supposed to be at. Have your ass set, Capricorn. Stop resisting moving forward. Some of y'all are resisting um, having some type of reconciliation with somebody because this person is trying to blackmail you on spilling the beans. This could be this person who is an outside pregnant person. Listen, if you need a personal reading, hit me up. This is what I have for you guys for the month of August, baby. This got really for, for mid-month August uh, from the now to the 31st. Y'all, this got juicy, juicy, okay? I do see love here with the water sign. Someone actually opening up and expressing their love, which is actually going to bat out, bring in some new beginnings, okay? Some of you all are also hearing positive news when it comes to uh, some type of investment that you're wanting to make. It looks really good, especially if it's, a, it's a, some type of um, collaboration of some sort. But it's going to be after cutting someone who's been a blockage to your finances, your happiness, as well as your prosperity moving forward, okay? If it ain't for you, you just got to cut it.
Period. Motherfuckers don't want to get right. They got to get left, Capricorn. Period. All right. So this is what I have for you guys for now to the 31st of August. I love you long time. If you need a reading, you guys, find that information in the description. Send me an email. Hit me up and let's get it popping. Love y'all. Namaste. See you guys back for the month of September.